Yo! Nowadays, a good portion of my viewers are high school and college age kids, and something that comes up around that time is the decision about whether or not to partake in the drinking of alcohol. And I think this is specifically relevant to new college students. Now, as a person who has had one or two drinks myself, I want to give you an honest, no bullshit summary of the pros and cons of drinking alcohol. So if you are at a time in your life where you have to make this decision, or maybe you don't even have any desire to drink, but you're just a little curious, you'll have a little bit of first-hand information straight from the horse's mouth. I remember before I had my very first drink, alcohol seemed like a very big deal to me. It is a drug after all. In general though, it's not a big deal. It's one of the many things that we can put in our bodies that affect how we act and carry ourselves. And like most of those things, it's fine when enjoyed in moderation. In fact, there are studies that suggest that having a drink or two a day can be beneficial to your health. It can reduce the chances of heart disease and ironically, having a beer a day is actually good for your brain, lowering the chance of mind-related illnesses like Alzheimer's. But those benefits come when you keep it to one or two drinks a day, and a lot of people average a little bit more than that. Now, the taste. Whether or not alcohol tastes good, it depends both on the type of alcohol and the person you ask. I would say it's definitely an acquired taste, sort of like coffee and Vegemite. Cheaper alcohol tends to taste worse, but I think overall, people generally enjoy the taste of their favorite cocktails, wines, and beers. Now, the main reason people drink alcohol is because in general, General, being inebriated is a very pleasant feeling. You get a hazy, euphoric warmth around you after your first few drinks. Also, on top of this, alcohol usually makes you more social, more talkative, more fun, more affectionate, and more honest. It makes bad music sound good, and it makes boring things seem less boring. And it makes already cool things even cooler. Places that serve alcohol, like bars, are usually very good places to meet people and socialize. Which works out because alcohol makes meeting people and socializing like 10 times easier. You might even meet someone that you end up liking. I mean, like liking. I know of several long-lasting relationships that began in a bar. Another thing alcohol can do is make people more amorous and affectionate and horny. If you go to a bar and drink enough time, someone will make out with you and you will let them. And that's just adorable, isn't it? There's also often a relationship between alcohol and sex. And personally, I don't really give a shit if two drunk people hook up as long as they have both clearly consented to this. None of that creepy fucking the passed out person shit, okay? Now, as you drink more, some other things can start happening to you. It can make you a little clumsy and awkward, and a lot of people who don't drink don't understand that part. I've heard things like, well, even if it does make you feel good, wouldn't you hate the lack of coordination? But the thing is, you don't give a shit at the time because you're drunk. Everything's all good to you. Now, after a few more drinks, things get a little weird. Probably one of the most notorious side effects of drinking alcohol is impaired judgment. Having a few drinks highly increases your chances of saying or doing doing dumb shit that you will later regret, like drunk texting your ex. Most of the time it's fine because people understand that you're drunk or are drunk themselves. Now in my personal experience, most people who regularly go out to drink get to about this point. The point just before YOLO mode where you're feeling good and you may do something weird but nothing too bad. Occasionally, or often depending on who you're talking about, it can get a little bit worse though. After you've had what I describe as too much to drink, you become that guy. You become that person that's so drunk that people judge you even though they're all inside of a place whose main purpose is to serve alcohol. This is when you can basically not walk in a straight line anymore, your speech is super slurred, and you basically have no inhibitions anymore. Now the complete lack of inhibition is expressed in different ways by different people. Some people get super aggressive and loud. Other people like to take their clothes off. It just depends. Now if you're lucky, you'll avoid the part where it's no longer even pleasant and you just feel sick and may even throw up. As you might imagine, I would say you don't want to get to this point, if at all possible. Now sometimes people have had just a bad day or life that they just want to forget about, or they're just in straight up party mode and they purposely get as drunk as possible. I don't recommend doing that, by the way. But usually nobody means to get that drunk, it just happens sometimes, and it's gonna happen sometimes. If you drink regularly, you will probably get shit faced every now and then. Whether you mean to or not, you will forget how many shots you had, you will drink on an empty stomach and get drunk quickly something will happen, so you have to be prepared. The best way to avoid getting too drunk is to pace yourself when you're drinking and to stop drinking based on the number of drinks you've had and not based on how you feel. Sometimes alcohol takes a while to catch up to you and sometimes you think you're good to go for another shot and then the previous three shots sneak up on you and you're like, what the fuck? No bueno. Also, alcohol, especially at bars and restaurants, is pretty fucking expensive. Even at the cheap places. If it's something that you make a habit out of purchasing, you will need to budget your money correctly 
correctly. Or else you will wake up wondering why there is $50 missing from your wallet. Speaking of the day after. Even if you're careful not to get too drunk or to spend too much money, if you get inebriated at night, you will probably wake up with some sort of hangover. Now hangovers vary in their intensity. Sometimes you're just a little groggy and it lasts an hour. And sometimes you're nauseous and in pain and it lasts two days. This depends entirely on how much you had to drink, how hydrated you are, and just how healthy your body is in general. Younger people tend to have less severe hangovers than older people. But in general, don't go out drinking the night before you have something important to do. Now I know it sounds like the negatives of drinking might outweigh the positives but it's just another thing that requires discretion and responsibility which I assume is why in most places you have to be a certain age before you can partake of it the bottom line is it feels good it tastes good to those who require the taste it makes socializing easier and it can make for a very fun night alternatively it will probably give you somewhat of a hangover and depending on how much you drink you may say or do something that will make you feel silly and embarrassed the next day also you may or may not run into something and or fall down. Now don't get me wrong, it can possibly get much worse, but I think that requires some very questionable decision making, which I will admit is much more likely when you're drunk. But while drunk people do have impaired judgment, they are still human beings with functioning brains. They still know that 1 plus 1 is 2, and they still know that 10 shots of tequila is too many. Unless you didn't know that, in which case 10 shots of tequila is way too many. They also know that a person who can't see straight shouldn't operate a motor vehicle. Now just because you know that doesn't always keep you from doing it though, so you have to make a super conscious effort to make sure shit like that doesn't happen. Seriously, don't drink and drive. Super bad idea. Just don't do it. Not kidding. Bad idea. Don't do it. So from my perspective, drinking is something that can be really fun or really bad depending on how responsible and how prepared you are. Some of the very best nights of my life would not have happened without alcohol. And some of the very worst nights of my life would not have happened without alcohol. But in the end, it's going to be your choice. Good luck. That's just me though. What should the next video be about? Drop a comment. I want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers. How you doing? Please press the like button. Subscribe if you like my hair. Holla.